Hello all you fine beautiful people, I'm back here once again with another reaction and today I'm going to be reacting to Arriving UFO by Yes. If you're new to the channel, I play a song all the way through, give you my thoughts and opinions on it at the end. And as usual, if there's anything you want me to react to, just put it down in the comment section. I try to get around everyone's suggestions. So I have to say, I really enjoyed digging into Yes's discography and I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this album, but everything I've heard so far from it, I actually really like. So I'm hoping that this will continue the trend. So without further ado, here it is. Arriving UFO by Yes. Seriously, really, when you called and said you'd seen a UFO. But then it dawned on me, the message in writing spelled out a meeting never dreamed of before. I looked out in the night, strange and startling. Was this voice of time to say there's got to be a linking of everyone? Got to be a center. to behold Vessels of a different impression None that we could ever hope to have known So look out In the night Once They arrive on that Meteor like invisible And for a better be In the ships we see the
so that was arriving UFO by yes. I have to say, uh, this song feels a lot like yes in its approach. Uh, I really like that do 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 kind of buttons beeping kind of thing sound effect they use here. Uh, also, I have to say right off the bat. I absolutely love the combination of Alan White's drumming and Chris Squire's bass playing. Like, you hear some absolutely fantastic bass from Chris Squire, from Alan White. You hear these drums, and it fits the song. At times, you hear just this chaotic section of... I, I want to say it's like a mixture of Rick Wakeman... Steve Howe and the rest of the band at times and I'm not not sure about that part like it has very much that feeling of yes of like close to the edge and the gates of delirium where it kind of has like these really intense soundscape parts to them but I, I just part of me is wondering if it works here like uh I, I like this song. I think it's a pretty decent song. It might be a track I have to listen to a few times before it's like, oh, okay, that's what they're going for. But on first listen, it's it, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I'm not sure. But I'll, I'll, I tend to be very positive in music and... I might not get something the first day, but usually after about two or three times listening to it, it's like, oh, okay, that's what they're going for. Uh, I'll say this about anything with John Anderson in it. He could sing the phone book. He could sing... Literally, uh, I think John Anderson could even sing an erotic novel or something, and it would sound fantastic. Like, he's one of those singers where you just listen to him. And no matter what, any time I hear John Anderson sing, it puts a smile on my face. He has just one of those voices that, no matter what, it kind of transcends the song. Now, I know there is one lyric in here where it's, like, hard to take you seriously and all that. And then it's, like, listening to John Anderson sing about UFOs and the way he's singing, it's, like, is he saying it's hard for us to take him seriously? But... I, I absolutely love his voice. It's fantastic on the song. Very much has that yes feel. Like, I know there's a bunch of people that have said that they don't like this record. I, I think it's one of those records that as I've looked up a little bit and had a bunch of you guys comment on stuff from this album, I think it's an album that's kind of grown on people over the years where they're like, well, it actually isn't that bad. But anyway... That's my thoughts and opinions. I'd love to know what you guys think. Please comment down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Click the little bell down below so you don't miss anything. Once again, I'd say thank you so much for watching. This is me here once again signing out. Peace.